الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد as it's no mystery to any of us about the importance of reading the Quran and that the Quran is the speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the divine speech of Allah tabarak wa ta'ala and that this holy month of Ramadan although we've come to the last part of Ramadan the last day or two bi idnillah for us to gain benefit so we will say farewell to Ramadan if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blesses us to complete it but the important thing or an important point about Ramadan and about some of the activities you should busy yourself with with Ramadan is that Ramadan was the month where the Quran was re- revealed as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says and the Quran should be read every day as much as you can and may Allah forgive us of our many shortcomings and our make an hajr of the Quran as the salaf used to speak about those people who make hajr they make you know they distance themselves from the Quran and cut themselves off from the Quran wa ayadun billah min dhalika more specifically i wanted to mention about the importance of reading surah al-baqarah in your homes and that Surah Al-Baqarah and Surah Al-Surah uh, Al-Ali Imran will be witnesses and bear testimony on your behalf on the day of judgment if you are reading them. They will make intercession for you in the day of judgment as Allah as the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said in a authentic hadith. So reading the Quran as much as possible and reading those surahs as much as possible is something which is should be beloved to the muslim because it is something in which the muslim will gain great benefit in this life as well as the hereafter an abi hurairah radiyallahu ta'ala anhu an rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam qaal لا تجعلوا بيوتكم مقابر إن الشيطان ينفر من بيت الذي تقرأ فيه سورة البقرة رواه مسلم أبو هريرة رضي الله تعالى عنه said reported that the messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم said Do not make your homes like graves or as graves. For verily the shaytan flees from the house in which Surah Al-Baqarah is read. And this was collected in Muslim. One of the things that the ulama mentioned regarding this hadith is that it should be read that surah al-baqarah should be read not just that you're listening to the quran listening to it on your computer on mp3 dvd whatever the case is or cd but that you should read it and so that encourages us to strive to learn how to read the quran and read it properly So if you don't know the Arabic language and you can't struggle through it, you don't know the letters yet, then at least try in English as much as possible to become familiar with Surah Al-Baqarah. And Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala knows best if that will count. But that is just a translation and that is not considered 
Surah Al-Baqarah that is considered the meanings of Surah Al-Baqarah. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best if that will count on your reward or if, you, or if you'll be rewarded on your intention. At least there's no doubt there's khair in it. There's good. By just reading it in English if that's what you have to suffice with at the moment. But it's an encouragement for us that don't know Arabic to begin to learn to read Arabic. To learn the Quran and read the Quran in its original language in the language in which it was revealed to the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So that's an encouragement for myself and for those who are listening to read the Quran as much as possible. Read Surah Baqarah in your home so that your homes will not be like a grave because also it helps to make the shaitan flee from your home. And all of us are in need of the shaitan leaving our home and leaving us alone. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam also said, خَيْرُكُمْ مَنْ تَعَلَّمَ Quran وَعَلَّمُهُ The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, the best of you is those who learn the Quran and teach it. The Prophet ﷺ said, the best khayrakum. So of course, that means you're practicing it. And of course, that means you're understanding it. And that will make you from the khayr, from ahla khayr. And in fact, khayrakum, the best of you. The Prophet ﷺ said, the best of you is those who learn the Quran and teach it. So that's what we want to strive to do, is try to be the best of this ummah by reading the Qur'an as much as possible. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us all of our shortcomings and for being lazy with His book. And may Allah help us all to start a new day in our lives, to come closer to Him, to leave the sins, and to read the Qur'an and make the Qur'an a pillar of our lives. Who sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم